All right, you made it back. Ready for more? Last time, we set the stage with the first five strategies to help you handle criticism like a pro without getting defensive. But we're just getting started. In this video, we're going beyond the basics. These next five strategies will push you further and help you turn even the toughest feedback into your secret weapon. And trust me, you don't want to miss the final tip. It's the one that will truly set you apart as a content creator who can handle anything. Welcome back to Avoid Burnout with Resilience. I'm Stephen Walters, and in part one, we cover the first five strategies. Check your mindset, consider the source, listen actively, ask clarifying questions, and separating yourself from the criticism. These steps laid a solid foundation, but today we're going deeper with five more powerful strategies in how to take criticism without getting defensive that will help you turn even the toughest feedback into fuel for success. As a content creator, you know that criticism doesn't stop coming. It's just part of the game. But with the right approach, it doesn't have to stop you. Stick with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have a complete toolbox to handle criticism like a pro. And the final tip, it's the game changer you've been waiting for. You've got the basics down, but now it's time to step up your game. Tip number six is about understanding criticism on a deeper level. When you can see things from your critic's perspective, you gain the power to respond calmly and turn even harsh feedback into constructive insight. That's why it's time to practice empathy. Put yourself in the critic's shoes. Why might they be giving this feedback? Are they trying to help? Or are they projecting their frustrations? Understanding their perspective can help you respond calmly and constructively. Here's a good example. Let's say someone comments, this video is way too long and boring. Instead of feeling defensive, take a moment to think, why might they feel this way? Maybe they're juggling a hectic schedule, feeling overwhelmed, and looking for quick, impactful content to help them in a short amount of time. By understanding this, you realize that their feedback isn't just an attack. It's a reflection of their needs and circumstances. Start by acknowledging their perspective. I hear you. Not everyone has the time for longer videos. I'll consider how I can make my content more concise. Practicing empathy not only de-escalates tension, but also opens the door to meaningful dialogue. It makes your viewers feel heard and valued, which can build a stronger, more engaging community. Speaking of perspectives, I want to hear yours. Drop a comment below. What do you think about these strategies so far? Your feedback helps me create more content that truly resonates with you and helps you handle criticism like a pro without getting defensive. Empathy helps you connect with your critic, but growth happens when you recognize the truth in their words. What if that feedback, even the harshest, contains a lesson you need? Don't just see their perspective, find the value in it. That's where tip number seven comes in on acknowledging valid points. It's easy to get defensive when someone points out flaws, but acknowledging when a critic has a valid point shows maturity and a willingness to learn. Here's a good example. Let's say a viewer comments, your audio quality is distracting. It's hard to focus on your message. Don't brush it off or get defensive. Think about the viewer's experience. Maybe they're listening in a noisy environment or expect higher quality sound. Respond with, you're right, I need to invest in a better microphone. This response shows you care about their experience and are committed to making improvements. Make a habit of scanning feedback for valid points. Instead of dismissing critiques outright, ask yourself, is there truth in this? Create a list of actionable changes and tackle them one by one. This approach demonstrates to your audience that you value their experience and are committed to growth. Remember, when your audience sees you taking action based on their feedback, they're more likely to engage constructively in the future. Have you ever found a valuable point hidden in criticism? Share your story in the comments. I'd love to hear how acknowledging valid points has helped you grow as a content creator. Recognizing valid points is a powerful step toward growth, but there's another layer most people overlook. What if you went beyond just acknowledging the feedback and actually thank the person giving it? It might sound counterintuitive, but showing appreciation even for tough criticism can transform the entire interaction. Surprising, right? That's the secret behind tip number eight. Thank the critic. Thanking someone for their feedback, even when it's tough to hear, shows confidence, humility, and professionalism. It flips the script and can completely change the dynamic of your interactions. Here's a good example. Let's say a viewer leaves a comment like, your presentation was confusing and hard to follow. Instead of getting defensive, reply with something like this. Thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate you taking the time to help me improve. This simple act of gratitude shows that you're open to learning and value their input, which can turn a critic into a supporter. Make it a habit to thank critics publicly and sincerely, even for harsh feedback. Responding with gratitude can diffuse negativity and foster a more positive and supportive community. 
Plus, it encourages more thoughtful feedback in the future, helping you continue to grow and improve. By thinking you're a critic, you're not just diffusing tension, you're building a community that trusts and respects you. Gratitude can turn critics into allies, but if you respond too quickly, you risk undoing all the goodwill you've built. To stay in control and keep the positive momentum going, you need to manage your response time. That's tip number nine. Don't react immediately. The first reaction to criticism is often emotional, and that's rarely productive. When you react right away, you're more likely to respond defensively or impulsively. Instead, give yourself some time to cool off and think it through. Here's a really good example. Let's say you receive a harsh comment moments after publishing a new video. Your first instinct might be to fire back or defend yourself. But what if instead you pause and take a deep breath? Give yourself a couple hours, maybe 24 hours before responding. This delay gives you time to reflect, but it also puts things into perspective and then you can respond in a way that's thoughtful and constructive. And here's the thing. Sometimes people leave negative comments just to get under your skin. They thrive on seeing a reaction because it gives them a sense of power or control. Don't give them that satisfaction. By not reacting immediately, you rob them of that power and maintain control over the situation. Create a personal rule. Say, wait at least two to four hours before responding to any negative feedback. Use that time to write a draft response. Then revisit it with a clear mind before posting it. This process will help you ensure your response is thoughtful and measured. This simple strategy can help you control your emotions, approach criticism more rationally, and ensure your response is measured and effective. Remember, patience is your secret weapon against those who just want to stir the pot. Do you have a strategy for keeping your cool when facing tough feedback? How do you make sure your response is measured and thoughtful? Share your best tips in the comments below and let's learn from each other. Remember, taking a pause keeps you calm and in control. But that's just the beginning. Criticism is only useful if you take action on it. Feedback is only as valuable as what you do with it. To truly grow, you've got to turn it into real growth. And that's why the final and most crucial tip is here. Tip number 10, reflect and act. Reflection is critical, but action is what turns criticism into growth. Don't just sit on feedback. Take it to heart and use it to make tangible improvements. Here's a really good example. If multiple viewers mention that your videos could use more structure, don't just nod and move on. Reflect on what they're saying. Is there a pattern? Is there a specific aspect of your content that feels chaotic or unorganized? Then take action. Start outlining your videos more carefully or consider incorporating new editing techniques that add clarity and flow. After receiving feedback, set aside time each week to reflect on what you've learned. Make a list of potential improvements and prioritize them. Start taking action, one step at a time. Remember, growth doesn't happen by accident. It happens through consistent effort and willingness to adopt. You've mastered the art of not reacting immediately, giving yourself time to think and stay in control. But remember, taking time to reflect is only half the battle. The real power comes when you turn that reflection into action. That's why we end with tip number 10, reflect and act. There you have it. The final five strategies to handle criticism like a pro without getting defensive. Practice empathy, acknowledge valid points, thank the critic, don't react immediately, and reflect and act. Combine these five with the strategies from the part one video, and you've got a complete toolbox to transform any feedback into fuel for growth and success. But don't stop there. Remember, criticism is just one challenge you'll face on your journey. Before you go, I have one more bonus tip for you. Watch the video on your screen right now to learn more on how to add even more skills that will help you avoid burnout with resilience. Because handling criticism is one thing, but staying strong, motivated, and resilient while doing it, that's the real game changer. Click on the video now and let's keep building that resilience together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.